people are confused about mental illnesses. They don't understand that it's not a choice. A lot like with addiction and depression and you know eating disorders, they assume that you're making the decisions where it's something that's really like chemically wrong in your brain. Throughout eighth grade, you know, it's puberty, your body's changing, but my body was also changing because I wasn't as in a good a shape as I used to be, and I didn't really like the way that I looked. I was never the healthiest eater, even when I did gymnastics, I ate a lot of junk food, and I was fine with that, but there was this one girl who would say something about, like, the food that I chose, and, you know, people just commenting on size and weight, it just started to become, like, everything was about that, and I just wanted to change my lifestyle, and it didn't start out as, I want to lose 30 pounds, it started out as, I want to be healthy. And that was a good mindset, but it just kind of got carried away really fast. I started counting the calories and weighing myself five times a day. I was getting really obsessed with it. I started um, cutting more things out and exercising more compulsively and my weight started to drop and that's when it started showing and I had this huge meltdown and I said, I can't do this anymore. I need more help. I went to the hospital in December of 2016, and I went to treatment from March in, to June in 2017. When I first told my friends that I had an eating disorder, they didn't really know quite how to respond. It was really difficult telling them that I was needing more help. I felt kind of, I don't know, I felt kind of weak, I guess. I don't know, but the love and support that I received from my friends was crazy. But I also met a lot of new people in treatment that I got to be really close with. I can help other people learn what they can do to help people who have mental illnesses. As in, like, one person actually came to me with concern about their friend having an eating disorder as well, and it felt so nice to be able to give them some of the information that I learned from my experience. It's just such a simple thing to do, is just talk about, like, what you're going through, and I think if it affects a lot of people, then it's not as weird. You're not isolated, you're not alone. So I think if more people come out and say what their struggles are, then more people will be accepting to it.